Hi guys, Togo here with a new video. In this video, we will talk about the healers in 2v2. It will be a tier list video for season 4 PvP of Shadowlands. And it will be a quick video because we are doing a 2v2 video. And afterwards, I'll also discuss about 3v3 and RBGs because there are a lot of things that are actually changing up. And I'm excited to talk about it. About 2v2, uh, the meta has changed. I'm going to be honest, a few nerfs on Holy Priest did touch them to a certain extent it is now easier to go for the holy priest of course they know that they are also a target so now they are playing the res lego most likely in twos and in trees it's a bit different because again you want you don't want to leave the dps's like uh free so they can play the other legendary which basically um gets more serenities more uh chastises and, and such so okay let's start right away with disc priest well they didn't get a lot of changes i feel like they got the better end of the stick it is still annoying because in twos you will lack dcc and you will have to play with a hunter or a rogue to be like super effective of course you can play with a dh you can play with a warrior you can play with a feral druid but basically you are kind of saying to your teammate look you're going to carry i'm going to try to do damage and if it doesn't doesn't work out then we're going to try to uh, find a way to cheese the game so for me disc priest is average so b tier is average a tier is meta s tier is god tier c tier is underpowered and d tier is Rash, garbage, something that you need to throw up. But I don't think a healer is at the moment in the throw up category. But I'm, I might be maybe a bit biased because I play this priest. But I don't feel like it's enjoyable to play in twos because your whole um, shtick is actually multi, like multi AoE healing with radiance and doing a lot of atonement healing. And it's more effective in trees. Also, you are not like the focus of. CC uh, entries like you 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 don't want to always CC all the time. You want to actually make your teammates survive. You want to do a bit of damage, but um, your first task is, is to actually make your teammates survive burst. But in twos, I feel like it's a CC bracket. You often are not if you don't have CC, you will need to have a lot of damage, and sometimes a lot of classes and specs have too much cc which makes it very hard to actually counter cc and actually win the game i'm thinking about a survival hunter for example or i'm thinking about the outlaw rogue or assassination rogue to a certain extent or subtlety rogue those classes and specs makes this priest actually super difficult to play because you will be the focus of cc and you know that after your trinket is down and your pain suppression is down you're pretty much like naked so that's why for me it is average because you only have a fear and you can also mind control of course but again it's very limited you're going to have to mind control at one point in the game and that makes it that your dps is very squishy very vulnerable vulnerable so also disc priests are also easy to kill imo if uh, a dh is on a disc priest often not that disc priest is going to burn through all cds and if the, the, the dh is not dead by now then you will be dying around two minute mark or three minute mark and that's pretty much like all the games that are going like this in twos for disc so it's average, it's not bad, but I feel like other specs are better. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room. I feel like Holy Paladins are not good in twos. They um, bizarrely are just better in trees because you have like crazy AoE healing and you're facing versus specific comps where as a Holy Paladin you can really say stop right now. But in twos, where CC is prevalent and the CC will land on you and you will have to counter CC as well, but you will need to be very close to the target. And often than not, you will have to play Repentus to actually compensate with the CC. It is very hard to actually have a great space. That's for me, it's a C tier spec. I really love Holy Paladins, but I feel like with this meta, with how it goes, with the prevalency of affliction warlocks which actually kills holy paladins really easily with the prevalence of a few specs like for example 
uh, subtlety rogues with examples of outlaw rogues, it becomes very hard to actually survive damage and make your teammates survive damage. Um, I feel also you don't have a lot of synergy with a lot of classes. Um, playing with a rogue is meh because you basically are DRing everything. Uh, playing with a uh, hybrid is not possible because you will lack the damage, you will lack the CC. You cannot really play. You can play with a warrior because it's like age old great comp. That's the only comp where I'm thinking, okay, holy paladins have a place. You can also play with a boomy, I guess, so you can actually bop his convoke and you can tease some games with it. But I don't think it's really viable. They do have some CC, but they will need to go like really close to the enemy team. The good thing about Holy Paladin, they have a lot of great CDs. And the CDs can make it actually more bearable to heal. And you will, you, and you can also have a huge success in twos. But the numbers are not lying. Whenever you're watching the leaderboards, you're watching the uh, statistics on different websites. Like for example, Dressfar or uh, Xunamate. You will see Holy Paladins not being played in twos because basically it is immobile, it is easy to CC him, actually easy to just go for the whole Holy Paladin once the bubble is down. It is actually easy to counter and that's why it's a C tier spec. The healing throughput is fantastic but in twos healing throughput is not everything since when you're CC'd you don't heal and that's basically the, the hard truth. If you're CC'd you will not be able to heal, and the healing throughput that you do is irre irrelevant. I cannot even speak anymore, guys. I'm, like, I'm frustrated. But Holy Paladins, very good in trees. But like, this is a 2v2 video, so let's talk about 2v2. I feel like a lot of people will probably, uh, they, they will not be uh, agreeing with this uh, about this. But you just need to look statistics. Holy Paladin is played a lot in trees but in twos they are not played it's for a good reason because in twos it is not enjoyable to play as a holy paladin i am although i like holy paladins i play myself holy paladin sometimes but to make it work it is better to go in trees you can still make it work in twos but you will be frustrated by for example holy pa holy priests rogues even demon hunters going for you all the time um it's difficult. It is very difficult. Holy Priest, they got nerfed on Greater Fate. I feel like that's a bigger nerf for twos than the healing throughput. Because again, 2v2 is not a tr healing throughput um, bracket. You have already dampening. You already you know that the games are short because of dampening. You know that the CC can end the game really quickly. And Greater Fade actually gave them some agency to actually survive damage. But now it got nerfed. And a lot of classes can actually just see, okay, Greater Fade is down. I have like a one minute timer to actually destroy him. And people are like opting out of Greater Fade. I've seen a lot of Hedge Priests actually not play Greater Fade anymore. Is it S tier or A tier? I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to make myself enemies, guys. I feel like it's not the best healer in twos anymore. I'm, I'm going to put it in S tier, but I'm going to directly speak about the top one healer of the moment in twos. I'm going to say say directly why. Um, but first, let's talk about H priest. They have loads of CC. They have loads of damage. It's accessible, it's easy to play, um, you have loads of comps to play, you can play with a stun chastise or you can play the in-caps chastise depending on your comp, you can you have a fear of course, you have mind control, you have Kyrian burst or you can go for mind games or you can even go for night fey, you have loads of possibilities to actually be of value to the team and I just think now it is easier to kill. And that's why, since it's not, oh, like I would say, OP to a certain extent where they are going to survive damage all the time. I feel like Hedge Priests, they didn't really scale well in Season 4. Um, basically, because I think the healing kind of stayed the same. But they've lost Greater Fate. They lost a bit, of a bit of throughput, but that doesn't really matter in twos. But the Greater Fate nerf, plus the Chastise nerf, plus other nerves that came from season three i feel like now it is really the nail in the coffin of the top one top level like 2v2 healer 
And I feel like my top one healer of the moment in 2v2 is Resto Druid. You can say everything that you want, but Resto Druid actually scales well in season 4. You'll have more haste, you will have more mastery, you will have more health, which basically gives your, your bear form also a lot of value. Your CDs has a lot of value too. You will be mobile, mobile, although the damage that you do is not scaled. Unfortunately, Convoke doesn't do anything anymore since you can't really improve your damage at all. Since mm, there is no stats except crit that can actually boost your damage. Um, but I feel like the CC that you can provide, the comps that you can play, the mobility that makes it actually hard to focus you. Some comps are like disgusting like for example outlaw rogue with a resto druid there is no real good target you can go for outlaw but basically they can have evasion all 30 every 30 seconds they can have cloaking shadows they can vanish often like all those things actually make them not a viable target and resto druids with their mobility and with their survivability makes it also very hard to actually focus them that's why for me resto druid is the top one healer of the moment for twos and i feel like statistics will prove me right on season four after a few weeks you will see resto druids actually being played more than h priest in two i also see a lot less h priest in general like even in trees people are like going for disc for some reason although i still think h priest is better in twos than disc but um resto druid is like the surprise of the season so be careful about that because they are untouched, they got only buffs and buffs and buffs, and the damage is still low, that doesn't really matter, but a good Resto Druid makes it like a nightmare to play against, and that's why for me it is top one. Now let's talk about Mistweaver Monks. Now I feel like Mistweaver Monks, they are also kind of average, they are not great because they need to go in harm's way to actually CC the target, they are actually super easy to turn to uh, kill them, I would say. Uh, if you're leaving Mistweaver like just free casting and they're free healing, they are actually very good in healing throughput. So that should not really happen. But it's easy to CC, first and foremost. It's also easy to just turn on him. So whenever he uses Cocoon on set DPS, just go on the Mistweaver and he is like naked, especially if you are like a physical damage dealer, like for example Fury Warrior, Revival doesn't do anything. So you, you will have loads of opportunities if you play like a Fury Warrior and you have double time, you don't care about stun because stuns, why would you do that? They can TP away anyways. I would just charge, 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 recklessness whenever they go for TP and you are close and then you can just like un 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 unload your, your whole... Um, magazine of cds and ccs and and damage to them so I, they actually get blown up so for me it's an average um healer it is not c tier because i think it's easier to to um deal cc and be of value for your teammates i'm really close to put it in c tier because to be honest holy paladins they are not that terrible but um something should be underpowered in twos and i feel like they are maybe the worst b tier spec they are not really good in twos because they the healing throughput is nice but like people are like getting it they know okay mistweaver if you are going to let them cast all the time their dps is not going to die so you will need either cc interrupts or both or even try to kill them and that's the way that people are playing these days with Mistweavers. They are going for you instead of going for the warrior. Also saw a lot of survival hunters actually just not care about uh, frozen traps and just go for the Mistweaver because they know Mistweavers are like appetizing to kill because they can actually not heal whenever they need to do three GCDs to actually have a meaningful heal if you're like all the time on them, you're stunning them, interrupting them, uh, CCing them every time they're trying to cast, basically it gives you a free kill. That's why for me it's B tier, close to C tier, to be honest. I think Holy Paladins and Mistweaver are like kind of the same level. Um, maybe I'll underestimate Holy Paladin a bit. Guys, in the comment section, be section below, what do you think about Holy Paladins? Like, is C tier too harsh? Should it be B tier? 
because for me, like in two statistics, speak for for themselves. They are like played as much as Mistweavers these days. So they are they, they, and Mistweaver. The reason why nobody really plays it is because it's boring to play. They don't really add anything. The healing is kind of sad. Mobility is fun, but that's it. Uh, and Holy Paladins, the reason why they don't get played is because they are not really strong. In trees, they are like they have good representation, but in twos, they have like no representation. So yeah, let me know in the comment section, some comment section below about it. Resto Shaman is for me ATM meta since the changes about uh, chain heal, they become better healers. So the healing throughput is not that bad. They also have an interrupt, so basically casters are going to be easy to kill for you. Uh, you can also double interrupt the healer, so you can also actually just train the healer all, all the time. Your hex is annoying for healers all the time because there are like no not every healer can dispel hexes and that is a game changer like if you're doing that on a dps for example or you're doing that on the healer then they are like definitely screwed they have also great pairings with great specs and um the rise of affliction warlocks kind of helps them too because they are actually good counters to affliction warlocks but also they pair well with affliction warlocks so you you have great things going on as a resto shaman. So I'm excited to see what you think about the tier list in the comment section below. Do you think I'm harsh about holy paladins? Am I not harsh enough about mist weavers? Um, what do you think about the top two? Like for me, resto druids are now top one instead of top two. Um, I just think H priest people will just switch out of it because they will understand like okay, my throughput is not changed. Uh, people know now that I'm killable since my fate is like on a longer CT. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to know. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this video. Subscribe to the channel if you like those kinds of content. Please like the video if you like the video. And of course, we will see each other very soon for the few next TLSs that are going to come out. And also guides that I'm preparing. So thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate you. Have a great day and be sure to be safe. Bye.